Well, Happy New Year, but more importantly, Happy New Gardening Season. First jobs first, we've got to do the dirty stuff and that's clean this thing out. As you can see, it's not a pretty sight to greet you first thing. So, I'm gonna have a good tidy up. That'll probably take all day, so we can get rid of what I wanna keep stacked neatly. And five hours later, this is what it looks like. Um, still a bit packed. The problem I've got, I've got no storage area for my tools, so consequently, most of them stay in here, although the greenhouse is locked and uh, got security lights on it. Um, you notice a big gap here, I've actually taken one of the heated sand beds out because I've got plans for this space will be revealed soon and uh, here's the other sand bed, I've just given that a good smoothing over I've got um, a little resident fill mouse, we'll just take a log to this and you keep digging a hole inside and probably see bits of paper and that so I've just smoothed it down, watered it again so I'm going to put the lid on and see if he still can get in. <laughs> Towards the end of June, the early July last year, I planted some carrots. It was my namesake called Nigel. Um, I just put them in a, like a spiral drill, put the seed in, I've just left them to their own thing. So now I'm going to take a look at what we got. See, it's very compact and more wedged against these. Oh, oh, little stumpy carrot there. I'm not sure whether this is the way I've planted them or whether it's a feature of the actual type but nice and stump stocky but not very long this is the uh, final harvest that we got so nothing to write home about but more of a balanced crop for me it is and uh, nice clean carrots and on the other side we have the remaining few small buttons off the sprouts um, this here is an aquatic basket, what you have in a pond for plants and that, and I find ideal for me for putting the veggies in there and giving them a quick wash. One job that needs doing sooner rather than later is tidying up with this asparagus bed. You may recall earlier on in the season that the mole come along and wrecked everything, but saying that, looking at the crowns there, there's still some decent number of stems on, so hopefully no damage has been done. So we'll get this crop down and get a nice covering of manure on top. Santa was a bit late arriving at the lot this year, but it was well worth the wait, this was. It smells lovely and keeps you warm in this cool weather. This is the asparagus bed now, all cleared up weeded, and a nice top dressing of uh, rotting horse manure. So uh, I'll leave that over the next few months, and hopefully that'll feed it ready for a good crop. Not only the asparagus bed, but I've, I've started now manuring the beds ready for the coming growing season. This bed here is destined for the brassicas, and already in the front I've got some uh, spring cabbage ready to just pop up. So uh, give this a good layering, I'll put the black polythene sheet on and let the worms get to work. Well it's finally arrived and we've been getting to sow the first seeds of 2020. The first two varieties that I'll be sowing are some calcium onion seed that I had off Pete Edwards and the other one is a variety called Tough Ball. This is a small round onion, I think there was in the show class of the eight ounce onions I think. Um, the major I'll be using is my very own vermicompost from off me wiggly wiggly bit. 
Now the only downside to this, it's taken a long time to dry out. It's still quite moist and I don't think I'll need to add any water. But the big thing is I want to see how it does perform for actually the seed sowing. So here it goes. Start off by using a quarter seed tray. And pop this uh, worm compost in. It's a little tamp down. Okay, not too firm. That's ideal. I know quite a few of you purchase seed from DT Brown and one of their features is they sometimes put in these plastic plant labels that you can use. Well, I found if you just fold it in half, it's a great aid for sowing fine seeds. And just lightly broadcast the seeds liberally over the surface. There's far more seeds here than I'll require. I'll just pick out the best and I'll donate the rest to anybody that wants them. And all that's left then is to give a light dusting of vermiculite across the top. This will help retain the moisture and it's also it lets light in as well. Although the compost is moist I'll still give it a little dampening down that will help settle down the vermiculite. So that's the first one done. I'll put a label on there for identification and all that's left now is to pop it into the propagator. This is a new thing for me this year, it's called a Vitapod. I'll, I'll pick this up, purchased off another garden who've got no more use for it and I must say I'm very impressed with it. So much so that I've cleared the space out you might have seen earlier took one of the sandboxes out and I've actually bought a double one of these as well but I'll be doing a review on that more later so um, just carry on now with the sewing well shortly after filming that things took a turn for the worse as you saw I cleared the shelf out in the greenhouse ready to put the large water pot in and then to do that I had to take out the sandbox so I'd, I'd remove that outside put it on the small wall what I forgot to remember is that it's got an electric cable off it with a three pin plug on. I'd left that trailing on the floor and as I walked out I tripped over it and ended up having a quick meeting with the block paving. As I fell over I took my arms in, my elbow dug into my ribs and I knew I'd done something straight away. So I ended up going to hospital, long wait, had an x-ray and found out I'd cracked two ribs. <laughs> that was just over ten days ago. Last week I've been in agony. The main problem has been sleeping, just can't get to sleep comfortable or anything. But the last day or two it got better and better and today I've been out in the greenhouse sowing a few more seeds. So this is what I've been up to. So that's the state of play as it stands at the moment. That last 10 days or so, it hasn't really knocked me back all that much. But saying that, I could have been out on the allotment. Although the weather hasn't been all that good with rain and high winds. And it's chucking it down as we speak now. 
One final thing before we go, which just bring it to your attention, is the the weekend of the 25th to the 27th of January is the RSP Big, Big Garden Bird Watch. Now this is an annual event where you take note of any birds what visit your garden and count the number of each species and send it back to them. You can actually phone a free phone number to apply for a little pack or if you go online to their website you can download the sheet which is what that is there if you can see it. I'll put a link to both of them underneath. So that's the Big Garden Bird Watch sponsored by the RSPP. That's about it for this one. I um, hope to be fully back in action the next week or two. And uh, so until then, I'll see you later. Bye for now.